Hi, I'm Tom Anderson. I'm a data scientist at the British Antarctic Survey, and I've led a study where we've built an AI system that can forecast Arctic sea ice. So sea ice is this vast layer of frozen water. It appears at the North Pole in the Arctic, as well as around the South Pole in the Southern Ocean. And it expands in the winter and shrinks in the summer naturally. Sea ice is very hard to predict because it has very complex interactions with the atmosphere above and the ocean below. Now, existing methods for forecasting sea ice are based on physics. So we try to write the laws of physics in computer code and use that to predict into the future. In contrast, our system, which we call IceNet, is based on artificial intelligence techniques called deep learning, which underpin technologies like facial recognition, self-driving cars, etc. The difference in our study is that we've taken one of these algorithms and made it learn how to forecast Arctic sea ice based on the past four decades of satellite data. Now, what we found is super surprising. IceNet actually outperformed one of the leading physics-based models in these long-range sea ice forecasts at two months and beyond, while also running thousands of times faster. So IceNet could run on a laptop, while previous physics-based methods would have to run for hours on a supercomputer to produce the same forecasts. Now, the context of this is that the Arctic is a region on the front line of global warming. It's warmed at a rate of about, of about two to three times that of the global average. And this has significant effects on the amount of sea ice. Sea ice was double the size that it is today in the summer, just 40 years ago. This sudden and unprecedented decline has dramatic implications for the local wildlife and human inhabitants of the Arctic, particularly indigenous communities who have a rich and intricate culture that's intertwined with sea ice that dates back potentially up to 40,000 years. What we're hoping is that the advances in sea ice forecasting ability brought forward in our study means that we can start to zoom into the forecast from IceNet and use that to help conservation workers as well as local communities to build their resilience and adapt to future changes in Arctic sea ice.